and you, and you, how are you? How okay. are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you? Okay? Simple things, very important. Right? Simple things, very important. And we can use a nice compliment. Nice compliment. Good morning, miss. Your hair looks lovely today. Right? Nice? Yeah, just a moment on you. Yashas, yashas, look very good in you. Thank you. Yeah? Feels good, right? And then when we make somebody feel good, they will try to make us feel good too. Okay. Have you used what we discussed last time? Have you practiced? Yes? 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 No. No. Louis. 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 Yeah. Let's see. Okay? Have you practiced the video? Yeah. Yes. You have? Yes. Good. Come to eat. Okay? So, remember, there's no mystery. Okay? There's no mystery. We work more, we do more. Right? Okay? Yeah. Nobody is better or worse than the rest. Some work harder, some are lazy. That's all. Right? Okay. So I have posted another very interesting um, video which is about talking about family. Okay? Very useful. Right? When you meet somebody, one of the first things that you say is my family, where is your family, how big is your family, and so on, right? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Especially in Vietnam. Right? Yeah. Why? What's that? What is different about family in Vietnam? Um, I think nuclear family is family. Okay? And? Big family. Is family. Okay. Is family. Extended family. family. Yes. Okay. What is extended family? Uh, it's no, uh, big. No, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, father. Father. Mm. So many generations. Okay. Live in town like friends, parents, parents, kids. Okay. Even uh, and four. Okay. So, our family is what we call first degree relationship. First degree. Mother, father, father brother, sister, sister, children. Children. That's our family, okay? Our extended family is... Immediate family. Family, family right? Uncle. Aunt, cousin, cousin, cousin is your the child or the brother or sister of your father, a cousin, member of your family, right? But not your, it's your extended family. Okay, all right. So let's watch the video. One funny thing in Vietnam is that people will say my family and they will mean my father and my mother. mother. In, in the West, we, we do that until we, uh, we have a family of our own. Okay, so you're still not married. Yeah. So your family is... Um, my mom, my dad, that's 
No brothers and sisters? No. All right. You are a no the only child. Only child. Okay? Now, when you get married, yeah. then your family is no longer your brother and your mother. Yeah. is your husband and, and your children. Yeah. yeah? Okay? All right. especially when we are with strangers, with people, with people we don't know, right? We talk about family. Everybody likes talking about family. Like, what else is useful? You're with somebody you don't know. Usually talk, people talk about the weather. Oh, it's so hot today. Oh, it's Raining, no, oh, oh, right? Or food. People like to talk about food. We, re we rarely talk about, we seldom talk about family. Why? I don't know, like, when we hang out, we just talk about, like, school, like, something happened in school, something happened in our life. It's not like a family. In your age, it's natural. In your age, it's natural. When we meet, yeah. when older people meet, when you have kids and you will meet with a friend, the first thing you will ask is, how are your kids? Yeah. Okay? So, so it's, it's okay. I'm kid. Yeah. I'm right now. Right? The first thing we talk is about our kids. Ah, and then people start to go, ah, my kid is this, and that, and that. Okay? something simple. Part one, introducing your family. Okay, so let's start with a simple... Okay, to introduce. What does it mean, to introduce? Ah, I have, I have my... I have the one you fixed for me. <coughs> what is to introduce? Introduce. Introduce. What is to introduce? To talk, talk about, about talk about. You don't know your name. Name, age. Something you don't know. Age. I come here for the first time and I say, let me introduce myself. Mm -hmm. My name is this. I am. This is my age. This is my job. This is where I live. You don't know, right? Mm -hmm. I bring a friend and I say, let me introduce my friend to you. His name is this, blah, 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 okay? I come from Greece. I say, let me introduce my country to you. My country is this and that, okay? Let me tell you about it, okay? So when we introduce our family to other people, we talk about our family because other people, they don't know, okay? I have two children, that's their age, so on, okay? Introduce. Right? Yes. Right. A simple sentence. There are mm people in my family. So you can say there are five, there are ten, there are thirty people in my family. That's not very hard, but it's not very interesting either. You should say who these people are. There are ten people in my family. I have two sisters, my brother, my uncle and aunt, two grandparents, and my parents, of course. There are four people in my family, my wife, my two sons, and myself. Part 
to talking about your brothers and sisters. Okay, so first of all, one thing we can talk about is the number of people. Okay, there are three people in my family. Myself, my brother, my father and my mother. Okay, there are five people in my family. Okay, the number of people. How many? Clear? Sisters. How many brothers and sisters do you have? You could say, I have two brothers and one sister. I just have one sister. I'm an only child. Let's... An only child. Only child. Try. Only child. Only child. Just one. Make it more interesting by adding more information. Are your brothers and sisters older or younger? Where are you in the family? I have two older brothers and one older sister. I'm the youngest. Okay, so instead of saying I have two brothers and a sister, we can say I have two older brothers and a sister. Okay, so we give the information not just about the number, how many they are, but their age, relative to our age. The youngest in the family. I just have one sister who's five years older than me. I'm the middle child. My brother is two years older, and I have a younger sister who's finishing university this year. Part three, talking about your immediate and your extended family. In English, we sometimes... Okay, so immediate family, parents, brothers and sisters. Oh, no. Excuse <laughs> me. Come on. Sifu, come here. Sifu, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, so immediate family is brothers, sisters, and parents. Immediate family. Okay? Extended family is everybody else. We sometimes draw a line between your immediate family and grandfather and grandmother, okay? And they have brothers and sisters, okay? Okay? Which are your parents. Maybe that's confusing. Okay, okay. let me skip that. Okay? So it's brothers and sisters of uh, our father or mother. Okay? And then our cousins are what? Cousin? Cousin? Cousin is what? Nephew? No? Uncle? Or a son of like your uncle? Or your aunt? Yeah. So the daughter or the son of my uncle or my aunt, they are my cousins. Okay? Now, the daughter or the son of my brother or my sister, they are my nephews or my nieces. Yeah? 
Okay. The children of my father's or mother's brother or sister are my cousins. Clear? Yes. Okay. The children of my brother or my sister, they are my nephews or my nieces. Okay? Now, you can give more details about the people in your family like this. My immediate family is quite small because I'm an only child. My mom is one of five children, so I have a lot of cousins who are kind of like my brothers and sisters. There are six people in my immediate family. My parents, my brother and his wife, my sister and me. I have a lot of other relatives, but they live in Canada, so we don't see them often. Part four, talking about your children. Do you have children? Let's see what you can say. I have three kids, two girls and a boy. We have a newborn son. We have one daughter and my wife's expecting our second child. Okay. Newborn is what? Newborn. Uh, a baby? A new baby. New baby. Yeah. Newborn. Newborn. Two months old, yeah. three months old, four months old, something like that. Newborn. Yeah. Just a few months. Just a few months. I have three kids, two girls and a boy. Our eldest daughter has just started secondary school and the two younger ones are still in primary school. We have a newborn son. He's just three weeks old now, so we're still getting used to things. We have one daughter and my wife's expecting our second child. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl but we'll find out in three months. Part five, talking about your relationship with your family. Finally, let's add some information about how often you see your family and what you like to do together. For example, I'm very close to my family. We have lunch together every weekend. Okay, so before we talk about how many, what their age, but we can say more about the things that we do together. Like what he said, I have lunch with my family every Sunday. We don't live together, but every Sunday we meet and we have lunch together. I see my elder brother once a week. We play tennis or basketball together. I try to spend as much time as possible with my kids. Well now, well, you should know the answer. Add more details. Let's look. I'm very close to my family. We have lunch together every weekend at my grandmother's house. She always cooks something delicious. I see my older brother once a week. We play tennis or basketball together. I don't see my other brother so often because he lives overseas. Although we talk on Skype every so often. Overseas. Overseas. What other words? Abroad. 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 It means Uruguay. Another country lives in another country. Right, every so often. I try to spend as much time as possible with my kids. We play cards, we watch films, or we go to the park if the weather's nice. Okay, part six, making a longer answer. Now, you should be able to make a longer answer talking about your family. You should be able to talk about your relatives, your brothers and sisters, your children, if you have any, and your relationship with your family. Let's look at a sample answer. There are five people in my immediate family, although my extended family is quite large. I have two sisters, both younger, so I'm the oldest child. I don't have kids yet, but I'd like to have a big family one day. I see my parents and my sisters quite often because we all live near each other, although I don't see my other relatives that much. Okay, could you make an answer like this? Let's look at one more sample answer. 
so first. I come from a big family. I'm the fifth child and I have three brothers and one sister. They're all close to each other in age, but there's a big gap between them and me. I don't have children, but I have lots of nieces and nephews. I don't see my family often because I live in a different country, but I speak to them regularly and we all get together once or twice a year, which is always very noisy, but lots of fun. What about you? Try to make a longer answer talking about your family. Use the vocabulary and the ideas from the lesson to help you. Next time you talk about your family in English, hopefully you'll have lots to talk about. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. I hope it was useful. You can see more of our free English lessons on our website, OxfordOnlineEnglish.com. Thanks again for watching. Okay, regular. And regular means what? Daily. Mm. Daily is one kind of regular. Yeah. Can be every month, every week, every 15 days, every two months. But on the same period of time. Okay? So not part time this week. One time next week, no time next week, three times the other week, and so on, right? Every week, one day. Every Monday, every week. That's regular. Okay? It's repeating. Regular. Okay? Regular. So we meet with my family regularly. Every Sunday, we have lunch together every Sunday. Okay? So, we talk about how many members there are in our family, our immediate or our extended family, their age, uh, and our relationship. Relationship. I'm very close. I have a very close relationship. What does it mean? Close. Warm relationship. Okay? We love each other, we care about each other. Okay, we call each other on the phone, hey, what, how are you doing, right? Close. For example, you exercise every day, you have your sister, Yeah. the same, do work together. Do work, yeah, basically being close is to care. Yes. Okay, love, right? Close relationship, okay? Loving relations. Okay, so my uh, talk about your family. Okay, so like my family. Um, one one comment, if I may. Like is used with no reason. It's not nice. Family. Like. Like. Uh, people use like and it's becoming a habit. I'd like to like talk about like my family. Like, like yeah. yeah? Does it mean something? So, no. I'm talking about my family. Yes. So, because lots of people use it, it's easy to yeah. get the habit. Okay. But it's meaningless. Yeah. So, uh, so, and we talk about my family. Uh, we have three we work in the family, uh, my dad, my mom, myself, but I'm the only child in my family. Oh, right now I'm not having kids, I'm not married yet, yeah, so okay. I'm just live with my parents at their home. We move out soon. Yeah, if our home, our home. It's your family, it's your home. Yeah, but they it's like their home now, but I can find my home soon. Right, okay. But if I have money... It doesn't matter. Listen, home 
um, is where you live. Yeah. Okay? It doesn't, you don't have to be the legal owner oh. of the apartment or the yeah. house, right? If you live there, it's your home. Yeah. Even if you, if you, if you uh, rent, yeah, pay rent, it's your home. So, what's a house? How is like a house is the physical construction, right? Home is where you live. A house is a thing built with a roof and windows and doors where people live, right? Our home is where we live. My home can be in a boat. Right? I can live in a boat. People live in boats. That's their home. That's where they live. Is it more clear? Yeah? Yeah. It's not a house, but yeah. it's where they live. So it's their home. I think home is like, like a family member. Where do you live? Like a different friend. You stay a random room. No, it's where you live. Where you live. Uh, this should turn. This should turn. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Good? Yeah. Yes. I will talk about myself. Uh, there are four people in my family. In the family. Uh, so, uh, my mother, father, uh, young brother, and me.
introduce my family to you, right? <coughs> 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, I love my iPods. I love my Okay. Right. <laughs> One thing you could say more. You said you have uh, two sisters yeah. and a brother. Okay. Uh, three sisters. Three sisters and a brother. Okay. So you could say that I have. You you could talk about their age too. Their age. Age, how old they are, your brothers and your sisters. For example, I have three older sisters and one younger brother, or something like that. Okay? So, you said about the number of your brothers and sisters, right? You could also talk about their age, how old they are, if they are older or younger than you. Okay? So I have a brother, one brother, okay? I have a younger brother, okay? My brother is four years younger than me, right? I have a sister, I have an older sister. My sister is five years older than me, okay? So you could say, you could talk about, uh, I have this number, I have three sisters and a brother. Two of my sisters are older than me, whatever, right? Okay? Right? Great. Six people in your family, okay? Once every month, once every two weeks, once every two months. Is it like that? Go back home. If you if you are here and your home town is in again. Where is your hometown? Pingyang Mountain. Pingyang. Okay. If you are here and it's in Pingyang, you go to Pingyang. Okay? If your relatives from Pingyang come to visit you in Saigon, they come to Saigon. Okay? Is it clear? If you live here and you go there, you go. Okay? Okay? And then you come back to your home here. You come. Okay? Okay, so you, you meet with them regularly?
once every on holiday, on that holiday. On that holiday. Once a year. Independence Day. Independence Day, okay. All right, okay. Very well, thank you. Get down. <laughs> Continue. Continue. Uh, I'm talking about my Remember one thing, mother, brother, other, right? So, okay, my brother, brother, okay? My mother. <laughs> mother. My mother. 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 <coughs> also one other thing, mom and dad. They're nice, but you can use it when you talk to a friend. Okay, so if you introduce yourself to the professor, you go to the university. Mother and father. Mother and father. Mother and father. Yeah. My mom and my dad. Mm. It's nice, but it's kind of childish, right? So it's nice because it, it, if um, if you call your mother mom, she feels nice. Okay, because it's close, right? But it's kind of informal, okay? So remember this, my brother. My bra brother. Bra brother. Forget about O. Think of, think of it as if it's with an A. Not an O. Brother. Mother. Mother. My other. Okay, I have uh, two markers, this and one other, other, not other, and other, okay, right? And uh, my family, they live in uh, my hometown, in Kinsen, Bovis, and I live in Hongkong. And uh, I uh, I go back uh, to my hometown uh, twice a year. Twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes my mom uh, come come to the city to see me. Okay. And we uh, hang out together. Okay. All right. But you are close with your mother? Yes. You are close. Mm -hmm. You talk regularly on the phone? Yes. Okay. Uh, about three times a week. Three times a week. Okay. And uh, one time about two hours. Three times a week. Is she complaining that you are not calling her enough? Mm -hmm. Is she complaining? Mm -hmm. Complain. Mm -hmm. You don't call me enough. No, no. Oh, okay. My mother complains all the time. So I call her and she says, Hmm, so you remember that you have a mother, huh? <laughs> okay. All right, great. Uh, so one thing you can, if your brothers and your sisters, they have a family, you can also talk about their family, right? So I have a sister and she has two children, right? Okay. Yeah. 
I came to you, my family. I'm come from in a, a ethnic family, but now uh, I have a, a immediate family. Yes, uh, there are uh, six members in my family. Okay. Uh, for uh, uh, my husband, mm, uh, my daughter, and uh, uh, my son, uh, love. Son in law, you know that. Uh, well, uh, children try uh, mm -hmm. for her go to uh, go to her work. And who takes care of your husband? Mm. Nobody. He can't take care of himself. <laughs> Maybe I think uh, uh, they will uh, remove a cost. Uh, I, uh, I think uh, they want a um, young girl and feel better when they near me. Your, your, your daughter feels better when you are with her. I know, <laughs> um, uh, but um, uh, I, I, I just cutting uh, because uh, my, uh, my daughter <coughs> needs me um, help her and, uh, uh, and she can um, um, work, um, work well. Okay. Uh, yeah, and high and high high salary. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so she has a good when job. when when uh, when she uh, mm -hmm. earn money, big money, so it means he hard in work. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's work hard. What's your brother's job? Uh, he is he um, architect. Architect. Yeah. Uh, my son in law too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they they work for a foreigner company. Foreign. Foreigner company. Foreign. Foreign. Foreign company. Foreigner is for person. Yeah. So it's a foreign company. Foreign company in uh, in which uh, city? In, in in Saigon. Okay. Yeah. In and uh, I am not Vietnamese, I am a foreigner. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. So your poor husband is all alone. Yeah. That's what happens with us men. Nobody. So, so much time we can, uh, they need right? a lot. Uh, they, they not, uh, uh, they, they not enough time for rest. So, uh, I can, I'm very busy and tired with uh, my mm. Okay, so you, you're very close with yeah. your children. Yeah. Okay. We need me. Mm. They, they need me. Okay. All right. That's fine. You have other children, you have this daughter here. Yeah. Do you have other children too? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I, I had a, a song. Uh, uh, he, he, he will marry uh, next year. He will be married next year? Yeah. Okay. Where is he living now? Uh, he he actually lives in a uh, uh, daughter house. I think. Ah, he lives together with you. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, Big family. Yeah. Uh, when he married, uh, <coughs> uh, we will marry. He will uh, uh, live another house. Okay. Okay. All right. I buy, I buy for him uh, a house near me here. That's a lucky kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lucky kid. You bought a house for him? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my man? Yeah. My man? He's, a, he's lucky to have a good mother like you. Yeah. Uh, 
but uh, I I always sell money uh, and uh, don't spend any money for me. Uh, all money for my my kids. Mm. Okay, that's great. Okay. Uh, today I'm a journalist on my family's family. My family? Uh, mm -hmm. There are six people who grow uh, my parents and uh, uh, my sister in law and uh, brother and me. And um, daughter. And I was living in Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, so you live together with your brother? Yes. And your sister-in-law, and they have a child? Yes, and sometimes. Uh, so they have a niece. A niece? niece, niece together with your niece. Yes. How old is your niece? No, my niece. My niece is Six years old. Six years old. Yes. My niece is six years old. Yes. Okay. So, anything else? <laughs> you say about your family? I'm happy in my family. Okay. Okay, you're all together, all close. Yes. You're not separated like most of the others. Yes. Good. Fine. Okay? Uh, all people will ask you. Then you can practice listening to it. You practice using yourself. Okay? Okay. Alright. Um, anything else about family? Can you introduce your family? Ah, introduce my family. Okay. So, um, um, I don't really know, uh, it's, a, it's a bit complicated, but okay. So, uh, I, um, my family, um, okay, I'm divorced. Yeah. I am divorced, so my ex-wife lives in Greece, together with my son. My son is 19 years old, he's my only son, we don't have another child. And this is only a very small family. Uh, and my father has passed away uh, six years ago. My mother still uh, lives in Greece. And I have an older sister who also lives in Athens, Greece. And I have a nephew who is uh, 28 years old and a niece who is 26 years old. Okay? Now, uh, one more thing. Our wife is female, right? And the male is husband. But we can use the word spouse, which is the same for both. Okay? Spouse can be husband or wife. Same thing. Okay? So, uh, I invite you for dinner together with your spouse. If you are a woman, your husband. If there's a man, his wife. Okay? Spouse. Okay? The one, the person that you are married to can be a woman or a man. And also another word for brothers and sisters? Siblings. 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 So, I can say my brothers and my sisters, or I can say my siblings, which is both. Siblings.
This is a lot, this is very complicated in Vietnamese, right? In English it's quite simple. But in Vietnamese you have different words for this and different words for that. Back and chew and this and that. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. <laughs> because in, this is not a, by accident. The reason is that family is more important to Vietnamese people than it is for English people. And the position that Vietnamese people have in the family is more important. This is why there are different words in Vietnam. There are different words for younger and older. In, in English it doesn't matter. Yeah, but who cares? It's, yeah? But here you have to say uh, what's younger brother is what? Uh, and Jai or and Jai. And Jai. Old brother. Old brother. Old brother. brother or younger brother. Okay, right? okay. And Jai. Old brother. 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 Thailand? No. Uh -huh. Thailand? No. No. Anh cả. Own brothers. Có nghĩa anh lớn. Lớn hơn. Your brother is for Anh Chai. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's it. Uh, okay. Okay. So, there's no such thing in English. You just say my brother or my sister. Right? But in Vietnam, it makes a difference if one is older or younger. Right? Or if someone is unhigh? Yes. Yes. It's on her. It's on her. I read about it and it's very interesting. Why is it called unhigh? Do you know? <laughs> Why isn't it called unlock? It's the first one. It's called unhigh. Okay. The first. The now, Okay. So the question is, Anhai is the oldest brother, right? Yes. Okay. Why do they call him Anhai, and they don't call him Anmo? <laughs> Number one. <laughs> because. Doesn't make sense. Well, one explanation that I read is that people in the olden days, they were very superstitious, right? They believed in bad spirits, evil spirits, okay? So they thought that the evil spirits would target number one, who was the most important child, right? So they named Number two, to confuse the evil spirits and protect them from the evil spirits. Uh, I think uh, that is a history about uh, Anmok or Anhai. Um, I, I, I can remember uh, when uh, uh, not, uh, not, not, uh, 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 so not Vietnam. 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 Not Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh
elder elder brother in uh, family, not not the liver family. Oh, uh, okay. So, so the second one yeah, becomes second the first. One leave. Oh. Uh, and uh, they had married and had all their family. So uh, the folk uh, brother, elder brother, said, "And I not anymore." Okay. Uh, Okay. I I can't remember. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. So so uh, South Vietnam had an animal, and uh, now uh, North Vietnam not an animal, only an uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I read that in a. Cây cẩm á, cây khi mà cây cẩm Việt Nam mà nó nó không có nó lúc đó nó là cái vùng quan, nó không có phải là đất trụ phú bây giờ. Như thể hiện i read that in the in a, in a history book yeah you can read it uh, in uh, history, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. I didn't tell uh, people uh, now uh, this story. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, that, was, <laughs> that was about, uh, I read the book about a year ago about uh, Paul Pot. Yeah. One more? One more? One more? Yeah. Uh, okay. So Paul Pot, before he became um, the president, yeah. not the king, the president, whatever, in Cambodia, he was uh, illegal, he was hiding, so he had a nickname, and the nickname was Anhai. And there was, in this book, it was the explanation why he was called Anhai in Vietnam. Okay, Mr. Popo. Before in uh, North Vietnam, uh, War, um, why not uh, a now? Not, not a you want a a Vietnam Vietnam. Like a countryside back. Where you going? Where you going? Long 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 time. 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 Long they move like now, now come south. Okay. To it's slow. Yeah. Well, even today, most of the businesses they are in the south, yeah. in Saigon, right? Yeah, yeah. So lots of people they they looking for a job, and they leave Hanoi or they, they come to Saigon. This is where activity is. Okay. Um, what are your plans for the weekend? Đi đâu hoặc tỉnh làm gì cuối tuần Đi về nè Nói một nè No plan No plan No plan Just sleep there Just sleep there We can sit together Take a rest Take a rest, ok It's 48 hours how many hours of rest do you like need? Like doing laundry. Laundry. You, you have at the weekend you are free, so you do. So you cooking, you doing laundry, you washing dishes, you do anything that. How long does it take? It's forty-eight hours. <laughs> and you hang out. Yeah. You hang out. Okay. Yeah. okay. So. So you have a plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have a plan. Okay, so what's the plan? Where will you hang out? So hey. we will go to a coffee shop. Coffee shop? Yeah, we will like go to the mall to mall? looking a um, new rest. Which mall? Uh, do you know? Um, what mall now? Uh, Robin Man. Yeah, like in Tân uh, Linh. Tân Linh. Yeah, uh, Tok Man. Uh, you know I only know a lot about in the 6th Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we will go to the coffee shop. Coffee shop? Yeah, we
Yeah, it's a famous one. Lotte is a, is a Korean company. Yeah, it's a Korean. 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 And Lotte Cinema, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah cinemas and restaurants and stuff. So maybe we will watch the, watch the movie. Yeah. And we don't have any land like what we do, what we do, we like, we will hang out. You don't have to have a specific plan, like, I will go at 8 o'clock to 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you have a plan, okay, I'll watch a movie. Yeah, watch a movie, okay. Okay? It's not like that. Yeah, 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 it's not like that. No plan? No plan? Nobody has to. You have a plan. I'm sure. I'm sure you have a plan. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> okay, what's your plan for the weekend? Uh, in my weekend, I also like to my friend because of my company. Not weekend, must <laughs> Uh, from Monday to Friday, how can we come? Weekdays. Weekdays. Yeah. On weekdays. Yeah. On weekdays. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday. Friday. Yeah. on weekdays. Wednesday. So you can say, on weekdays, I go, uh, I stay home. Right? But I'm going out huh? during the weekend. Weekdays. We can. We can. So on my on my clock application here, when I set the alarm, I can choose if it repeats. And there's an option weekdays. So it will be repeated from Monday to Friday, not during the weekend. Or there's another option every day, which will be all the seven days of the week. Okay? So? Uh, I really like to talk with my friend uh, to meet uh, our involves, but uh, on weekdays I, I have to work. So you don't have time? Yeah, I don't have time. So, uh, you can. You can. You can. I, uh, I'm sure I, I will go to meet my friend. Okay, nothing, nothing planned. Yeah, just I think just go to the coffee shop and talk. Okay. And it's uh, what I like. Okay, there's one thing that there was a very nice article that I think I shared some time ago. I posted, and it's one fact. Not everybody is as successful as everybody else, right? Yeah. So we have people that are very successful, like your daughter. Yeah. Your daughter is successful. Yeah. She has a very good job, right? And we have people that are very unsuccessful. They do nothing. Okay? There's one thing in common for both of them, which is what? So one is very uh, successful, makes money, has a great job, lots of girls, um, okay? He's very smart, very educated, right? And the other is stupid, doesn't have a job, or the job that he has is paid very low. What do they have in common? What is the thing that they have? It's the same. For both. So balance. Balance. Balance? Yes. No, no, no. One makes 50 million a month and the other makes 2 million a month. Okay? One is has a very nice big car, the other has a bicycle or nothing. But there is something that it's the same. Time. Their day is 24 hours for both, okay? Yeah. Nobody has 25 hours, nobody has 23. We all have 
24 hours a day. But what makes people successful or unsuccessful is how we use this time. Okay? So successful people use their time in a smart way. Unsuccessful people, they don't know how to do it, they don't care, and they waste, waste, they waste time, they waste time in doing things that are not important, not important. So, if I haven't posted this article, I will post it, and it's good. I I have it here as a reminder. Let me remind myself. This article says that the free time that we have is four hours a day. We work for eight hours. We sleep. We bathe. We cook. We do our laundry. We mop the floor. We travel on the bike, okay? So we have four hours every day, four free time, four hours. And the writer did the research, and he found out that the people that are successful make a good use of these four hours. This is the difference, four hours, okay? in which four hours they spent one hour thinking about what they want to do. What, what do I want to do next month, next year, next 10 years? One hour every day. One hour every day for education, learning new things. 30 minutes a day exercise. Exercise. 30 minutes a day building relationships. Connecting to other people. Yeah. Hello, hey, how are you doing? Let's go out, have a coffee. Right? Yeah. And 60 minutes a day to relax and rest. Well, 30 minutes a day, building relationships. 60 minutes, 60 minutes to relax and have fun. And this is for weekdays, right? On weekend, you have more, right? This is for weekdays, because otherwise you have eight more hours Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Tạm biệt. Tạm biệt. Gặp lại. Thứ ba. Thứ ba. Thứ ba. Thứ ba sao? Ok. Thứ tuần sao? Thứ ba tuần sao? Tuần sau. Next Tuesday. Next. Yeah. Next week. Next. Next week.